Oh my, what is going on, folks? Good to see you. Welcome back to Georgetown. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Guys, we are in the middle of harvest season here. Well, try to kick it off at least. We're a little behind the... Eh, no, we're good. We're good. Don't worry about this thing. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do today. Well, I need to clean this truck. We need to clean the truck up, but the International is looking like she's in rough shape. We've got to pack down that silage pit. I want to get that covered up. We've got to feed some cattle. But guys, we need to get into the field. We need to get into the field. It is harvest season. Yeah, it's time. I think it's it's definitely time we get in there. Uh, yeah. So clean, pack, feed, harvest. Got it? Let's get to it. <laughs> Pitter patter. Guys, this truck has been absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, man, I couldn't have asked for a better truck. Mal, you are, you're awesome. This thing was just an absolute perfect purchase. Um, well, because it was free. Oh, I'm spraying right into the vent there. I just realized that. <laughs> but you know what? It's been a perfect little uh, truck to drive around on and uh, to harvest that hay. I mean, the, okay, it wasn't 100% perfect. We ran into that small problem with the grain bin door being so small. It's okay. We can we can live with that. Nice. It's got a hitch. What a great truck. It's been perfect. Um, all right. So one, one job quickly done. Let's go pack this down. This is the big thing I really wanted to get taken care of. Uh, I got a bunch of spillage going on out there. Anyways, let's pack that down. Let's go grab the Veltra. It's got the big floaters on it. I think that's probably going to be the best tractor for us to do, on the cheap at least. I mean, the John Deere is heavier, but the Veltra is bigger. And it looks fantastic. I love the tires on this thing. Ah, oh, it looks so good. I mean, it's not quite as big as that 6 Series John Deere, but man, this Veltra, it looks so good with these big fatties on it. Oh, I love it. All right, let's hop on in. Get this thing fired up. Oh, uh, man, we are looking good. We got to get that Stara still. I need to put that up on the roof, guys. We're going to take care of that soon, I promise. Need to get that up on the roof. Problem is, I'm kind of broke right now. Uh, Gertie and Matilda took me for a, a bit of a ride yesterday when we were cutting that grass. And, or, well, I guess it was two days ago now. But anyways, um, that cost us quite a bit, guys. That was not cheap. They, they, they definitely got their money out of me. And we didn't really do that much work in the grand scheme of things. I think I ended up doing more of it trying to figure everything out. Not really impressed with that. Um, I wish we had a better system for this. I'm not... <sighs> Packing silage, you know what? Any kind of tractor will work, let's be perfectly honest. You don't need to have anything special. So I guess that's fine. It's just you're packing silage. It's just a lot of... Well, a lot of going forward and going backwards. A lot of seeing what you've already been done to. I should go jump into the back seat here and turn around just to use that other steering wheel. Oh, I just kind of spun all the way around again there. That wasn't creepy at all. Uh, wee! <laughs> Whoops. Uh, you guys didn't see that. Anyways, let's keep on packing this down. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, we'll take us a little bit. I think we were, you know what? That grain truck, since it was a bit of a pain to uh, unload, we ended up packing down quite a bit of this. I think we were almost at 50% before we even got in here today. As soon as this turns to, to silage, it needs to go into that, into that silo right there. So as soon as it turns, I got to find a way to unload this. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot. Um, all I've got is this small little bin, the bucket on the Massey right now. Man, two two million liters in a two thousand liter bucket. Gertie, what are you what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> and the next day, and the week after that. Sloppy guys, we just passed eighty percent for compactness. Oh yeah, this is fun. Um, I think I've back back on back and forth maybe a hundred times now. Um, it's a slow go. It is really a slow go. Ah, maybe I should go get the John Deere and try it. Maybe it'll work a little bit better. And maybe I'm floating too much with these floaters on. I don't know. I don't. I, I can't spend any money on anything. We got to go back to the bank if we want to do that. And I think they're done talking to us. Uh, but anyways, it's just a lot of, of driving here. Um, I notice I'm running a little low on fuel too. That's kind of a problem. You know what? I've got potatoes I can sell. That might get us enough money. I could possibly sell off some pigs. Pigs are almost at the point right now where they're gonna be making us some profits. Um, I could possibly sell off some bacon at some point in time here very quickly. I think we're, uh, you know, in the next couple of weeks, we should have some little baby pigs, but uh, that's something we can consider as well to make some money. So spuds, otherwise it's just hay. Um, but that being said, if I can get through today, we're gonna have wheat and barley. And wheat and barley, I don't really need them as crops, so I could potentially... I mean, I don't want to sell them right now because prices are kind of in the toilet. Ah, 
Uh, yeah, big time. Big time. So we'll wait until... I'd like to wait, but at the same time, we may need the money. <laughs> we may need the money to pay for fuel. Ugh. Yeah. Um, I don't like when we're in that kind of a situation. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll sell that off and get some money for fuel. Two hours later. And we're at 90% now. Ah, oh, man. It's such a slow go. It's all right. It's all good. We got some time. I'll grab, I'll grab some lunch afterwards. Uh, make sure we get our cattle some lunch. And uh, then we'll we'll hit the field after all that's said and done. But, man. <laughs> it's been... I mean... I thought it was packed down more than this when we were in here with a truck and trailer unit. It felt like we were in here a lot more, but I guess I guess I must have been mistaken because this has taken us some well some serious time. One eternity later. All right, finally, all packed down. Excellent. Let's park this here for a second. Jump on out. Get this tarp on this bad boy, and uh, I'll throw some tires down. Maybe we'll see. But all packed down. It should be good. Turn into silage in the next couple days. And we'll get into those silos afterwards. Sweet, looks like the tarp's all down. Looking good. Yeah, we're good, guys. Perfect. Tarp is down. Let's make some silage. I like it. All right, uh, that's task number two of four. I think it's two of four. So, uh, yeah, let's go hook up to. Uh, ooh, actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to grab some breakfast, some lunch, stuff. I'm going to grab some food. You know what I mean? Would you like to sample our vegan bacon? 100% meatless. Yes, please. And I've got an idea. We gotta feed the cattle right afterwards. And yeah, we're gonna make this easier on ourselves today. There you go, buddy. You get you get some lunch too. Ah, that's better. Oh, you're already done. Have some more. There you go. Get him some lunch. That'll make him happy, pups. Ah, uh, all right, guys. Let's go over and take a look at this. So we were using the trailers last time to feed the cattle, and we all know how that worked out. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, I am horrible at backing up those single axle trailers. Anyways, uh, so you guys had some recommendations for me. Yeah, you had more than a few. But, I figured, we got the truck. We got the International with the bin on the back. Why do I need to have a trailer when I can just use the truck? And I can back up a trailer a heck of a lot better than I can back up a, tr a trailer. I can back up a truck better than, yeah, you know what I mean. It's late. <laughs> Let's go. Um, so, we're going to load this. I'm going to load with some hay. Yeah, we got 432,000 liters of hay there. I use a little bit of hay this time instead of the alfalfa. I also noticed, I forgot that the alfalfa is uh, not dried. It's not hay, alfalfa hay. So, we're not getting as good of food from that. Uh, we're better off to obviously go with hay. Oh, let's go right there. Where's our hay at? Perfect. Let's not go too, too crazy. Maybe... What do you guys think? Maybe t eight, t let's go 16. So that'd be four bales right there. That's perfect. So that there should be four bales worth of hay. We're gonna go put this into uh, into that cattle pen, get them some more food. Uh, the International, <laughs> like I said, this truck is absolutely perfect for our uses, guys. Oh, stop right there. Get this gate opened up. Excellent, all right, and in we go. So the last time we were messing about trying to get that trailer in and out of here. Why mess around with a trailer when you can just put a truck back there like that? So much easier. Uh, in fact, you know what? I was worried that we wouldn't have the height. But we got tons of height, of course, inside here. If I zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, there's like tons of height up top. So that's all right. That works good. Lots of room. Perfect. Cows, cows getting lots of food. That'll make them happy cows. Man, guys, we are making some good headway today. Everything is taken care of there. Now, all we got left is the big field. We got uh, wheat and barley. Well, wheat, barley. You guys know what I mean. Uh, we need to do some harvesting. So, we got our new combine. We're going to fire that bad boy up. Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? First harvest on the new John Deere, the 4040. 440. Uh, it's sitting right there. I got to take that head off. We got a corn head sitting on it. We got to knock that thing off. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to use the truck for this, mind you. Well, you can put the truck. Where should we put it? Maybe right back in here for now. We'll probably get the Veltra. And we'll drag some bins into the field with us and go from there. I think that's going to be the best bet. We'll leave the truck out of this for now. Try to keep it out of the field. We'll get some tractors in there since it could be a little soft. I don't want to be driving the truck through that field. But uh, let's see here. Where is it? We got the Veltra there. We got some bins here. We got the combine. And we got the header we got to switch out for. How big are the cattle guards out here? Huh. Uh, I think 
Can it fit? I think it can fit. Let's try to see if we can fit that in. Oh, guys, we have to do some math. I hate math. All right, guys, we've got the Capello head dropped off right over by our fuel tank here. Uh, we've got our our standard uh, weed header, the cutter right here. It's ready to jump on. Look, this thing is its just funny looking to me. I, it must be the wheelbase. I think the wheelbase is just kind of short, shorter than normal combines uh, than the 440. I guess I'm used to driving stuff that's a little bit bigger. But this one, it's got this kind of a shorter wheel, but it looks a little bit stubby. Uh, the stubby 440. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with this. So far from what we've kind of just messed around with it. Today, we're going to put it to the test, guys. I'm not sure how it's going to run yet with this size. I think it's a 7 meter. That's 7 meters we got on that. Something like that. 25 foot. Uh, it should be able to handle it. We're at 280 or 260 horsepower in this thing. We've got the duels up front, of course. Uh, we've got the different top on. I think it only holds about 8,000 liters inside the tank. It's a smaller tank for sure. But it should be able to be a decent little harvester for the fields that we're currently running. We'll see. Let's give her a shot and see how she works out for us. Come on. Let's go. Oh, I guess I can't see back, can I? And we'll spin around to the right pretty hard here. Nice. Now, like I said, I, I got some math to do. do. Can I fit through the gate with the head on? Um, I don't know if that header is going to fit through that gate, guys. Only one way to find out. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, we got to definitely find out. It looks like it's going to be close, because otherwise I'm going to be kind of in the field. It's going to be awkward for me to try to do it. Let's see here. Uh, we'll drop that there. Let me undo this header, and then we'll see if we can connect to it again. Header connected. All right, let's fold away the uh, the wheels on that. Perfect. Those are all gone. All right, guys, let's see if we can get this over through that gate. That is the question. we got the uh, the cattle guard sitting right there. It, oh, man, it looks like it's too big, but I don't know yet. I mean, if it's not going to pass by the bins and the fence, then that's definitely too big. Oh, okay, we got room. Oh, it's going to be so close. It's going to be so close. I may have to take this off again. Um, come on, baby. Let's see. We've got some room over here. A little bit of room over. A little bit more room here. How we looking? How we looking? Oh, I think we might be able to fit. That's like an inch over there, but maybe maybe a couple, maybe a couple inches. Oh, we got a couple inches here, guys. We could we could fit through. A few inches later. Whoever designed these gates, um, kudos to you. Look at that, like a glove. Love it. Perfect. All right, guys, that is fantastic. Sweet. All right. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we're getting some straw on this as well. Drop that down. There we go. Fire this thing on up. Right on top of the cattle the cattle guard. And then, oh, no, we're still stuck on the cattle guard. Move forward, move forward, then drop down. There we go. That's better. All right, guys, into our barley field we go. I like it. Nice and easy. Come around nice and slow down here. There we go. And down we go. Perfect. Make a little bit of a headland around the sides. And then from there, guys, we'll go in, dive in, just accordion our way through it. But... Oh uh, man, this is the smallest field I think we have, and this is the barley field. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the straw. I don't have a baler. I gotta have to borrow a baler. Um, yeah, I don't care. I want the straw. I really do. I really want the straw. I should bale it. We need to find... I mean, I can always stick it in one of the silos, I suppose, but then we, we still have to pick that up. Well, we didn't get very far in that field, guys. Um, I forgot. This is such a small tank by comparison. You can see we made... Well, that's how far we made it uh i'm gonna have to start accordion a little bit quicker i think we'll do it i'll do a headland just to the side there and we'll start stay on this side um yeah so 6500 liters is what we got right now of of the barley so we can hold 60 so it's gonna be 10 dumps into this these, well not quite it'll be what 15 or no no no, no sorry, sorry seven dumps into these two before we're full that's gonna take us quite a bit of time um huh yeah, it's a decent combine, but man, I wish it had a bigger bin on it. I never even thought about that. That's uh, pretty small in the grand scheme of things. All right, pull on up. Looks good. And there we go. It should feed in auto. There we go. Excellent. We can leave this here. We'll leave the uh, the Veltra right here, guys. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to I'm gonna go down to the far end and then double back and then just start accordioning. I think that's going to be the easiest way for me to handle this field and tackle it with our small little bin on this, this harvester. It was a good deal, like I said, but uh, I think this might be the shortcoming of it. We might need some hands on, especially that cornfield. That's going to be a bit of a pain. 
All right, let's go. We're already over 50% full. And all I've done is that. That little pass right there. Um, <laughs> uh, it's such a small little bin. Yeah, I wish there was an extension. We could have gotten a little bit bigger. I elected to go with one just to cover for it. So we can take that cover off the top. It unfortunately doesn't give us any more capacity, guys. But we can take that off at least. But um, I kind of re regret that. We could have so much more space. I wish we could get a bigger bin for this one just up on top. Even an extension of some sort. Unfortunately, there are no options available on the 440 uh, as of right now. So maybe that's something we could talk to maybe Min. Maybe he can figure something out for us. But right now, it's, uh, it's a little it's a little bit on the small side. Anyway, as you can see, 97, 98, 99. We're full. Let's stop her there. Stop. Time. Empty all that straw out. Lift this on up. And I'm just going to back this up. We're going to run over and grab those tractors. That tractor, I should say. We'll bring it back on down and unload again oh man it's a lot yeah we're gonna be making this trip a lot i foresee in the next couple hours uh yeah it's gonna be a bit of a harvest guys it's gonna be a bit of a harvest is what it is anyways if it does work it's just oh that bin would be that would make a big difference uh we'd be able to do a lot more a lot faster with that oops let's start the engine up on this first i thought she's already engaged there we go drop that back down but uh we're gonna be stuck taking her easy folks that's the name of the game on this one so we'll see. We've got the smallest field today. Uh, tomorrow we'll probably take care of the, that wheat field beside me. And then the last day we'll see if we can get corn. Depends. I may see if I can grab a hand, especially for that corn field, guys. That corn field up there is by far our biggest our biggest field. Yeah, we're going to need some help for that. The rest we should be able to handle. Uh, like I said, today this field's going to take us the rest of the day. And then we got the wheat field right on the far side there. That's going to take us uh, a hot minute as well. Anyways, when we get to the far side here, we should be able to engage GPS now at least. And I can just kind of go, but it, I don't know if it really matters. We need to stop so much. Uh, does it make a difference? I, I don't know. Definitely a bit of a slow go working by ourselves out here, guys. But we are really quite broke. I can't afford to hire anybody right now. I feel bad asking Gertie for some more help. Um, yeah, what do you do? We got to do it on our own. We're going to do it on our own. Um, it is what it is. So let's keep on trucking away here we've got the gps working on the john deere finally took a little bit of going but uh that's good to see it's working finally <laughs> there we go and yes perfect so we can maximize at least we can maximize that that's one thing that's uh kind of beneficial i suppose and you know what it's doing a decent job it's just oh well, it's it's a bit small uh it's just that bin if we could double that bin size so instead of having 6500 having like eleven thousand, that would make pretty much all the difference for this little harvester guys it's just that bin is so small look back here and she just fills up so quick um yeah it's unfortunate that, that, that's all uh anyways it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll be fine once for this this is such a small field i'm not worried about it well, that's a bigger wheat field over there the corn field is the one i'm really kind of concerned about that's i mean we've got such a long drive back and forth as is Oh, man. I don't know. We're definitely going to have to get some workers helping us out for that. That's for sure. We'll have to see if we can get somebody else. Maybe another combine. If we can find somebody that's got a combine, they wouldn't mind bringing in the field with us. That might be beneficial. We'll see. But anyway, GPS is nice to have in this thing for sure. Um, there we go. Nice straight lines for once. <laughs> All right. Coming up to the end here. We'll zip this bad boy back around. And then, you know, what's going to take... I don't know if we're going to fill up that back bin or not. It's pretty close right now. It's going to be hit and miss, guys. It could work. It might not even be full. I don't know yet. We're going to have to wait and see. We can leave the cruise control on here. I'm going to break it off of our path. Right about there. And zip it back around. And as soon as we get spun close to being around, I'll engage that GPS once again. Kind of like so. And we should be good to go. There it goes. Nice. I don't even need to think about it. All right, give me some Netflix. Go back to my phone here for a bit. And full again. Um, like I said, guys, we fill up relatively quick. Oh, uh, that kind of sucks, but it's all right. Look <laughs> how so cute in the field. Look at that. It's just so cute. Um, let's pull on up and dump this bad boy on out. And we'll finish this off. We've got a couple more passes left to do, but... I, oh, yeah, we're not going to... We're definitely going to have to dump these bins out before we get to the end, I think, guys. Let's just pull on beside here. Take a quick look. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's so tough to tell. Oh, that's deceiving. That black bin, that back bin here. She holds 30,000 liters. The front bin only holds 20. 
So that's five loads, six lo or four loads, I guess four and a half. You know what? We're not gonna, we're gonna have to dump this out once uh, into our silo for sure. Yep, 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 yep. That's all we're gonna have to do. Anyways, that's all right. Let's go back into it, get back to work, finish this field off. All right, guys, last little bit left, and we're full, unfortunately. Uh, that's all right. 60,000 liters, or 51,000 liters, I should say. 51,000 liters of barley. The Veltra is struggling a little bit. Look at that. I've got her matted right now, and she's struggling up this little hill, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. That's a good sign, though, isn't it? Um, so you can see we've got most of this crop taken, taken care of, uh, but it's still going to a little bit left to do. We'll finish that up today, and then, uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll get into the wheat, maybe. Actually, you know what? That straw's got to get baled still as well, or picked up, I should say. So that's something else we got to figure out. But that's going to be, well, a little bit more for the barley. Let's go take this over to our, our silo, dump this on in. Nice and close. It's so nice and close, which is great for these fields. Not so great for that cornfield. We've got to, I mean, it's it's close as the crow flies, but, guys, we've got to trek all the way around the highway whenever we bring all the corn back. That is going to be a bit of a pain. All right, into the dryer and silo system we go. We're right there. Let that go up. A little side dump. It works. We can probably do a double dump here, guys. Can I, get a, can I do a double dump? I don't know if I can. Oh, there we go. Double dump. Double dump. Yes. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's satisfying. <laughs> Look at all that barley. Oh, man. All right. Double dump. I love it. Sweet. So that's uh, one load. We'll get another maybe 10,000 liters off of that field. Uh, come on. I don't even know what that is in bushels off the top of my head. But anyways, so we'll get that last little bit off there next. All right. Just unloaded the last little bit out of the uh, the combine. Let's go finish off this field. Shouldn't take us too much longer here. Cool. But that's really going to do it for us today, folks. That's going to be the end of uh, well, our quick start of harvest, I guess. The end of the start of harvest. Yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. Um, a little bit left to do. A couple more passes here. Let's get this fired up. Fire that up. And we're good to go. Sweet. So we'll let the straw sit out here for now. I'll probably pick that up right away tomorrow. Uh, we also have, like I said, the wheat field, the corn field to do. We still got a lot of harvesting to do, guys. It's early autumn. We'll see what happens. These these trees should start turn. Uh, these trees should start turning right away here. And we'll see how this how the fall is going to look down in Georgetown. It's going to look great. I can't wait to see it. But anyways, like I said, folks, that's going to do it for us today. Guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, slap it a like. And don't forget to subscribe as always. And folks, I um, hope you guys have a fantastic day. And we'll talk to you next time. All right. We'll see you then, folks. Cheers. This is Clutch from Georgetown. Over and out.